Sometimes when you're in InDesign, you export your work, you look at your final PDF or EPUB, and unfortunately there's pictures missing, there's things there. You look at your InDesign file and you can see them, but they're not going out. So what's happening here? Now what it really is, is your actual files are held somewhere else. So in a different part of the computer, and InDesign is linking to them. So they're not saved in the InDesign file as such. What they're doing is they're just put there as a sort of placeholder. When you say export, your computer goes to that file, opens it up, and puts it into place, and exports it. That's pretty much what happens. So if the file has changed name, if it's changed place, or anything like that, then when you come to export, InDesign goes, right, I'm going to get that file, and I can't find it. So I'm going to put nothing in its place. So that's why you have big chunks missing. This is a very serious issue, because let's say you're doing coursework, where you've got to design an iPhone app. You come to the end, the link to the iPhone app pages, the designs, has gone somewhere else. It's not playing into your final PDF or EPUB for submission. You therefore submit your work without the actual designs, and I can't mark your work because you haven't given it to me. So it's absolutely critical that everything in your InDesign file is correctly linked and renamed before you export. So how do you do this? Now you could just take um, all the names, make a long list, may remember where they are, and go to place to place and then correct them. That is possible, but it would take a long time and is not practical. So the answer is a thing called pre-flight. Now. All you do is go to InDesign. In the very bottom here, you've got a panel which has a little dot. In my case, it's red telling me that something is wrong. It says one error, so there's one thing wrong with my work. If I had 100 things, it would say 100 errors, but we're not going to have that. So I click on this down arrow to, and select pre fight panel, and it opens up here. So I can see that the error um, in this case is links. There's multiple areas you can have, but I'm going to focus on links for this case because it's the most common one we see with student work. So, links, there's missing links, and school of junk.png is missing. So, I've got to um, fix this. Now I can double click and it takes me to the picture in the file. And it's like, yep, I recognize that. That is the logo. So, I've got to fix this. Right, so close it down. Let's go to my links panel here on the right. Now, if your links panel is hidden, all you've got to do is select Window Links. And there it is again. So I can see that the school junk PNG file is there. It's got a question mark next to it, which means we don't know where it is. So I go to the bottom here, so relink, and I can choose where it is. Now I know where it is because I'm lucky. So I'm going to go to year two, digital branding, uh, 6017, lecture slides, week three, wireframing, uh, app design, exercise, and images. And then branding. <laughs> so in this case, I know where it is. If you don't know where it is, you can use the search bar or you can kind of find it somewhere on your computer. So I know it's called Junk Crest, which means the name had changed from when I originally made this. So I click open. It relinks it and it's put back in the right place. Now there's another one here which I've got to do, so I'm going to relink that to the same place. I can see now that on my links, all my question marks are sorted. My pre flight panel, if I open it up here, has uh, absolutely no errors, everything's good. I can now go ahead, I can export this, and my picture will actually be there. Really, really um, easy to do and absolutely essential for any digital publishing you're doing within design.